Okay, can we get a, what do you, um, a grande pumpkin spice latte? Hot or ice? Hot. Hot? Yeah. And do you want more cream? Uh, no thank you. Okay. Okay, and I will have a grande, um, a cold brew, with the, what is it, the cream cold brew with the pumpkin? So a pumpkin cream cold brew? Yes, sorry. <laughs> no, you're okay. Mm -hmm. And did you want that? A venti? Um, kid, um, yeah, venti. Okay. Is there anything else I can get for you? That's it. All right, your total is eleven ninety eight. You can move on forward. Thank you. Thank you. But we had to because pumpkin spice, pumpkin season is here. I don't like also, pumpkin. I don't think I need. Um, I, like pumpkin spice. I think technically you don't need a straw this, so we were dumb. That's okay. We're still okay. We can't find it. Um, I'm guessing you take the lid off. Oh no, it's here. So what did you get? I forgot. Oh yeah, we are fucking stupid. I got a pumpkin spice latte. I got a pumpkin cold brew. What you guys saw me struggle say? I'm an idiot. Mm. I didn't realize there's an opening. She's probably trying to roast us. I was gonna say, like, why didn't you just go out that way? Mm. Why? This way, then I would have been forced to go all the way around. There's no other way for me to uh, turn. So then we're not dumb. Okay. How's your latte? Very good. Mm. I don't think he said he got a pumpkin spice latte. But Matt is disgusting. He got a hot coffee. I hate cold coffee. I have the opposite. <laughs> We came back from Trader Joe's and I picked up some of the fall stuff they had. So I thought I'd do a little haul, but I'm going to start with the cold frozen stuff first, obviously. Baby spinach for my shades. Another lemon arugula basil kit. Organic broccoli. Again, I love these roasted. These are pretty much like my staples for quick, simple meals. We have some frozen pineapple bits. Frozen mangoes. Always, always a favorite. Usually the pineapples, the other fruits I try to mix up, but I always get frozen mangoes. I'm gonna put a few of these things away and we will get into some of the fall frozen stuff. Okay. So here we have a rustic apple tart. Matt really loves apple pie. So I got this for him to try. I think apple pie is like, like okay, but this looks pretty good. I would eat it. Some pumpkin ravioli. and the Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. So I know they also have like a fall harvest pasta, but I already have like a lot of pasta noodles, so I really couldn't justify spending money on that, but I'm intrigued to make these together. I usually do like very simple sauce for the ravioli. And then I have, okay, so I have, I've never tried the regular Holt the Cone, and I got the pumpkin ginger ones, but I felt like if I was getting these, I also had to get the regular one to try. Um, like it would be a more fair comparison, I guess. And then we have these fall leaf shaped tortilla chips. Oh my God, they're so cute. I'm so excited to try them. And I got the fall harvest salsa also, um, a lot of the fall stuff is new to me. I haven't had it before, so 
So I love chips and salsa to snack on while I eat and stuff. And I also have some of their guac left over on the in the fridge. So I'm just I'm very excited. I love Trader Joe's. I mean, in general, I love their food, but their snacks are so good. And I just love seeing all the stuff they come out with every season, even though it's a little sad when your favorites. Then we have some pumpkin spice Rubio's tea. I like to make myself a cup of tea before I go to bed. Um, I drink way... Okay, so right now I'm pretty good about how much iced coffee I have. I only let myself have one cup in the morning, but I'm also the kind of person I like having a routine. So I like to make myself tea, any type of tea, just because like, you know, I feel like my body associates coffee with like, okay, we're waking up the day is getting started and tea to me is more like okay like we're settling down for the day with some dessert speaking of dessert a pumpkin biscotti i feel like this with the tea like these will go really good together and then we have this maple oat beverage i usually just get their almond milk to put in my coffee but again fall items i just like look at all this will i be able to pick up all this stuff like without uh, dropping it <laughs> but yeah fall oh my god so those would be really good then we have pumpkin waffle and pancake mix actually i prefer waffles but my apartment kitchen is so small i can't justify a waffle maker but i was intrigued by these i'm probably gonna have to eat waffles or uh, pumpkin pancakes for like the next month and a half because this is such a big box like I bought some Betty Crocker pancake mix and I still have a ton of it left okay then for to go with the I thought I heard something <laughs> um okay so to go with the pancakes we have maple butter pumpkin butter and cinnamon bun spread very excited for this also i feel like those will go super 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 great with um all the pumpkin things that i have and then um we have some pumpkin body butter i've had this before actually it smells really good and they're i haven't tried a ton of their beauty products but like a lot the ones i have tried tried i ended up really liking um this is seasonal i probably will be done with it by the time like fall stuff is done with because i have extremely extremely dry skin with corona virus <laughs> uh i got four of the apple cider this is their foaming hand soap i don't love foaming hand soaps i think they're a little drying but again it was fall themed apple cider i couldn't couldn't resist it that would be really cute for the kitchen um especially because again since i have such a small place i really i can't justify buying a ton of decorations for the place so just something to bring a little fall decor fall vibes into the home i don't think the butter not little the butternut squash soup is a seasonal item of theirs, but I do feel like it is very appropriate for fall. So I picked one up. Um, okay, so the next few things aren't really for fall. They're just like staples that I needed. We got some apple cider vinegar for my face. everything but the bagel seasoning i always have multiple backups of this because i literally i eat this every single day obsessed one of my favorites and two coconut waters for my green smoothies we have a pumpkin dinner the pumpkin danish kringle Oh my god, this is so freaking big. I believe these are like fresh pastries. They just shipped in from another. Oh, right here from Wisconsin. Um, they are. You can freeze them, which I'm definitely going to have to do today because I live by myself. Um, I know I've seen like so I've never had one, but I've seen online that people go through them really quickly. 
But I still think like for one person, I probably wouldn't end up eating it that quickly, but we'll see. Total, that was 130 USD. Ouch, but lots of food. It will last me a while. I'm very excited to try everything we picked up here today. Ooh, my Target package I came today. I can't find my box cutter, so I'm gonna open it uh, very badly with keys. Because this package was so heavy, I have no idea how I managed to get it into my apartment without any help. Well, the main culprits bought new frying pans. I got the Chrissy Tegan ones from Cravings. I don't know how I fucked up my non-stick pans, um, but I did. These are brand new. And I'm gonna baby the shit out of them because I don't think they were that expensive. I think it was like 35 for two pans. But I have new pans because nonstick. I was wearing off all my old ones. And I got the good ones. So neutral. We love we love neutral vibes. Uh I don't know if I'm gonna take out the fucking thing. I'm gonna redact this so much. Giant pack of baby wipes. I'm gonna stuff them under my bathroom sink. I actually, I should have done the math to see if buying the larger size was actually more cost effective than buying the size that I usually buy because sometimes it's not. I got this. Aqua Marine Candle. It actually smells pretty good. I also have the Aries one that they did. What does it smell like? Melon, bamboo, and lily. I had the Aries one that was like the black and gold one. I'm gonna use it to decorate my apartment. Um, probably like when we're not doing seasonal stuff or like for the spring because March baby. Uh, but the Aries one smelled really bad. It smelled super like manly sand but like not like in a good way like very heavy on the sandal wood musk and like spicy and again like not in a good way like this smells like very mellow and light like i actually would like this um originally i planned to like burn it down and use it as like a cup holder but that one smells so bad i don't think i can do it but we'll see um you guys will see what i'm talking about in a minute the decor i guess I like how they wrap everything very carefully. These are awesome. These are also candles, but they're shaped like a pumpkin and they're metallic. This one is sparkling citrus and spice. Let's open it. Let's see how it smells. So the reason I bought these candles is because I have, um, sorry, I'm like concentrated on taking the tape off. I hope it doesn't ruin the, oh, but it doesn't come off like in a big piece. My ears are still red and they're so there is a oh it's strong i can smell it already um gap in my blinds in the kitchen and in my bedroom um if i don't answer the door right away my landlady peeks through the gap in the blinds and i don't like that like a couple times when she did that to me i was naked she was like you know, like people can see you naked. I'm like, but why are you peering into like what you know is my 
like my, why would you peer in someone's windows um so i don't think she's gonna change the blinds of me in this cheap ass apartment so i'm gonna put a frame up of a print in the kitchen and i thought i would just put these like pumpkins in front of it for now for the fall um you know the rule of three so this one is sparkling citrus and spice it doesn't oh there's no description here just oh it is strong i would not yeah this is good. definitely gonna be a decor item it is so strong and this one is like a bronzy type of color Here's a rose, more rose gold looking pumpkin. I got two of these, I think. And it's in the scent blushed cashmere. There was a silver one on there and I went back and forth like if I should buy it. It was like silver with gold spots, but I'm not big on silver. But this is more my vibe. I think like I'm gonna put these uh, out, up. Oh, maybe I, could get, I should get silver one for the bar cart. The other, ooh, the other thing being that like, again, because the space is so small, I don't have um a lot of room to put like a lot of decorations if they're not being used um literally holiday decor goes in the cabinets above the fridge because i can't reach that far high anyway so that's just what i use it for and see how this one smells blushed cashmere It has a very like fake strong cinnamon smell almost like big red uh i think it's less offensive than the citrus and spice one but i would not burn it actually i can't remember if i did buy the silver one or not so let's see I got another pink one. One for the kitchen, one for the bedroom. We're gonna make it paint in here. Um, I've been torn on spending more money on making the apartment look nicer because now that we're in quarantine and spending a lot of time here, but at the same time, I'm not employed, so I can't justify spending the money. And then once I have a job, I won't, like, I don't think my apartment is like, Okay, so I like to call it a shithole joke, but that's because it is like a very uh, cheap apartment. Um, and you know, like investing in small things to make it nicer is fine, but it's just if you're not here every day, it feels a little pointless, you know what I mean? But hey guys, we actually went to Target and Home Goods, we went to a different one, so we're supposed to leave for apple picking, which is gonna be next week's vlog. But I'm gonna show you very quickly things I got from Home Goods. Ooh. It says Witches Brew. Um, it was only $10. There's a slight oh, imperfection on it, but I thought it'd be really cute on my bar card. I'm trying it. We got a bunch of hand towels. I already used one, so I'm gonna put a picture of this one. This full is my favorite. There's little pumpkins. This one says Autumn Leaves and Pumpkins, please. And then there's little pumpkins in the back and it has like different types of pumpkins and then i really wanted a sweater for apple picking this isn't the one i want to wear by the way oh uh, but it's such a good neutral knit sweater i'm not wearing this one because that's wearing the same exact one but we don't want to be that couple Instead, I'm gonna wear this like Russ colored one, which is uh, super cute. Oh, I'm sorry, this piece of hair is driving me crazy. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my small fall haul from Tater Trader Joe's and Target. Love, love those places. Literally, like my whole outfit right now <laughs> is from. Target. I'm gonna go edit my Boston vlog and now that should be up already by the time you guys are seeing this 
yeah so comment like and subscribe <laughs>